So I am going to discuss about this topic. I, I would like to thank uh, the director, the coordinator, Malavia Mission Teacher Training Center, the University of Jammu, uh, for, for giving the opportunity to attend this uh, course. So this is my outline of the talk. So as usual, introduction about nanoscience and supercapacitor, then synthesis process of various metal generics, and research and discussion, which consists of structural, optical, morphology, and electrochemical uh, performance, and uh, conclusion and future. So this is my plan of the talk. Uh, so, we know nanotechnology, so nanotechnology and nanomaterials, so practically we know a lot of words uh, which regarding the nanotechnology and nanomaterials. The first two four letters, N-A-N-O, is derived from Greek word. It means very, very small. So nano means very tiny, which is very small when compared to macro and micro. So nano means uh, one billionth of meter. So nano also called 10 power minus 9 meter. For, a, uh, for the uh, exact definition, so nanotechnology is the art of art and science of manipulating matter at the nanoscale to create a new and unique materials and uh, products. We know one meter is tennis ball, what a tennis ball is to the earth. So this is the comparison feature between the earth and the tennis ball. So we know uh, earth is very very big, but the uh, tennis ball is very very uh, small. So when compared to earth, uh, the tennis ball is very very, uh, the size of the tennis ball is very very low. So that is the nano and Macro. So this is the dimension. So based on the dimension, the nanomaterials are classified in four types. So first one is zero dimension. There is no uh, dimension. There is no growth direction. So for example, nanoparticles and fluorescences are examples for uh, zero dimension. Next one is one dimensional nanomaterials. Nano rods, nano wires, nano tubes. So these are the examples of one dimension. And here the growth direction is only one direction. Either it is x or y or z. Next two dimensions. It is uh, generally uh, to uh, thin things uh, materials, for example, nano disc, uh, nano uh, mm, seeds, uh, these are the example for uh, two dimensional because the growth direction is either x, y, or y is the target direction. And finally, three dimensional, it is a nano wire and a nano tube, sometimes with four cells, that's a combination of both the 2D and the 3D materials, generally is called uh, the three dimensional nano. So, in nano generally defined as surface to volume ratio. Is. We know high surface to volume ratio of the nanoparticle. Let us consider the uh, rectangular box. This is a single piece. It consists of uh, uh, 4 into 4 into 6 spaces. So the total surface is 96 centimeters. Further, the single box is divided into cut of the uh, small pieces. It consists of large surface area at a particular volume. Here, the, the volume is constant, but the surface is Means lost killing. Bioengineering, also uh, tissue engineering. Tissue engineering, we replace our body tissues and also to be replace our bone, damaged bone. So these are the examples for uh, nanotechnology. Uh, so nanotechnology is based on the foundation synthesis method. So we know a lot of methods are available to synthesis of nanomaterials. So either it is bottom or top down approaches. So there is a care station technique. So top things are the material, for example, XR, the UV, PL, FTL, SEM, TEM, other characterization techniques, and also applications. We are already discussing the applications in previous slide. And also, 
uh, methods of synthesis where so how to use the precursor solids now to propose material so how to vary the temperature whether it is a room temperature or low temperature or high temperature and also elemental composition is a very very important to synthesis of variety of binary or ternary nanocomposite by using this method and also uh, two uh, major category of synthesis of nanomaterials one is chemical methods so another one is physical methods so in chemical method lot of material methods are available for example isothermal is a well known procedure so people are mostly using this material method to do synthesis of various nanostructures and also chemical methods solid te technology and also solvothermal process it is very similar to isothermal method and also cvd chemical vapor deposition chemical bath deposition this also used to prepare the inflame of uh, nanothermal technology and also spray fires so in physical method thermal vapor evaporation this patterning technique for stir as a deposition and get out of the process these are the physical methods available to synthesis of nanomaterials so among the various methods we choose hydrothermal method to synthesis of variety of nano materials and our metal nano cellulite composite with metal organic frame we know super capacitor one of the electrochemical electrochemical energy is electrochemical energy yes so super capacitor electrochemical device is with high power density we know electro uh, super capacitor is the high Power density, fast short discharge time, and high capacitance, long life, their time span, broad application, and the temperature. So, uh, uh, super capacitor further divided into three types. One is uh, EDLC, electric double layer capacitor, pseudo capacitor, and hybrid capacitor. So, in the EDLC, the alternate materials are mainly carbon. So, what are carbon? RGO, GO. That means Uh, reduced carbon oxide, graphene, graphite, activated carbon, multiple, multiple carbon nanotubes. These are the examples of ADLC material. And also sugar. Sugar is the only it is a metal oxide or polymer. You know, lots of polymers are available. Polyamine, polyamine, polyamine. So lots of uh, polymers are available. These consists of everything. In the hybrid, hybrid means a combination of both ADLC and sugar. Both them are available. Both 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 are available. Uh, chemical reaction of substance in a sealed heated uh, solution about ambient temperature and pressure. We maintain the temperature and pressure again long time, over 2 hours, 16 hours, 24 hours. So to uh, over exposed for a long time, we have to uh, collect uh, what is this, desired morphology of the nanostructures. So powders are formed directly from the solution. So after drying the uh, solution, the solution is converted to powder form. It is possible to control particle size, morphology, and porous nature. So these are the important parameters, for example, for uh, to uh, induce uh, the electrochemical reactions. So the resulting powders are highly reactive, which are under low temperature. So it needs one step yeah, of the method. No need for sintering, no need yeah, for any yeah, surfactants, because uh, yeah, within uh, hydrothermal technique, uh, at a particular time, we get the desired morphology. That's why we use. So this is the experimental procedure of the Zakai F67. This is one of the uh, group of metal organic from the MOI. So here, 3 millimolar of uh, cobalt nitrate and 12 millimolar methylene nitrate dissolved in 35 ml and clean the nickel foam was used as the substrate and uh, all of the room temperature was maintained and washed and dried. Finally, we get Zakai F67 MOI. And also uh, formation of uh, composite material so here nickel precursor is the consists of nickel so nitrate and nickel sodium chloride uh, combined with appropriate amount of nickel nitrate and nickel sodium after completing the reaction the solution was transferred into hydrothermal and the temperature was maintained once it reached 60 degrees celsius all hours for hydrothermal reaction after completing the reaction the foam was removed and washed with nitrate and finally ultrasonic heat and then dried at 16 degrees celsius at a particular time 
to get the desired morphology. Here we get uh, the nano disk morphology of uh, nickel telepides. So we know very well XRD is an important technique to determine the structural parameters. So here we have to take uh, both uh, few and composite samples. So our XRD itself confirmed that uh, the nickel telepide has a hexagonal sustained structure. All the soft and the uh, following Miller in the agreement with the basic previous data. So let us consider the composite sample that here there are three types of uh, Miller oriented such as uh, 18 degree, 22 degree and 26 degree belongs to 222 and 114 and 134 plane of the, uh, 67 count. Because it, uh, the results confirm that uh, the presence of both the ZI of 67 and the nickel telephone sample consists of the formation of Formation of counts within this uh, material and also morphology uh, information. It has we have taken a PSM and it has to confirm the morphology. So here the western uh, nickel foam has a smooth surface. After coated with the nickel delivered, the morphology of the nickel delivered was uh, 